everybody, welcome back to this week's Most Elite. Let's Play? Is it? Yeah, it's the Let's Play. Alright, so I'm going to skip this because this is like super photosensitive. Look away if you have like epilepsy. So, we're back to Evil Finn. I went back to Fatal Frame and yeah, I just I lost so much footage. When I was like trying to record it and get it all done. Ended up losing a lot of footage, so I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm not doing Fiddle Frame. So, we're just going to do this. We're just going to do this. I was going to do Evil Within. I love this game anyway. We'll do two after this. Still haven't been able to fix my Resident Evil 2 2019 frame issue. So, I can't do any speed runs on that, but I can do some speed runs on the original on my stream. I just I don't know what, what the heck is going on. So, this is after the crash. So... If you've not played Evil Within, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, but just know that this place is like a uh, a, uh, a, a mine palace. So she just she just tells you you're always welcome here. All right, so you have to save the game here. Yeah, that's from before. We'll do this. All right, so she she leads me she leads me to this chair where you, you have to level up for the first time. The reason I'm punching here is because you the punch animation pushes you forward much faster than walking. Some speed run tech for you guys out there and girls. She tells you to have a seat. So you have to level up in this like Ludovico isk type machine. Photo sensitivity yet again. I apologize. No. Stop. All right, so you have to do that, and then she's like, "They are all better now." I'm skipping this. I kind of want to beat this game on Akumu, but you have to beat it on hard first to unlock it. It's the one one hit difficulty. I've never got to do it. I kind of want to do that for two as well. So I think that's that's the objective coming up. We're going to finish Alien. We're going to do this. I wanted to finish Fatal Frame for you guys. Unfortunately, I can't. Uh, maybe we'll do Fatal Frame 2 or something. Shit. All right, so this is a little Healy stab. There we go. Kidman, where are you? There's some goop near the car here. There it is. So the cool thing about you with Vin, one, see that stamina bar when you run? If you max out your stamina, you have infinite run. Pretty cool. Because this is, you know, a video game, and it should be treated as such. I hate that, like, games nowadays are like, oh, realism. It's a video. Come on, man. I'm on an adventure. Let me have infinite run. Let me not take fall damage. I'm adventuring here. That's crows. I'm just here for the goop, bro. All right, so there's going to be an enemy. They're about to give me the gun. I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I went the wrong way. I don't want to use the gun, but th this enemy is actually crazy tough. It's like I don't want to use the gun on him, but it almost feels like you have to. I'm about to just run by him, to be honest. We slide down this hill. We're skipping that. All right, so he's eating someone. It's the cop from the uh, the ambulance. He's, he's mutated. He's like a zombo now. So... Cutscene. This is a reference to Resident Evil 1, the original scene, where you meet the first zombie, and he turns slowly. That's your. They, this is just remade from that, which is not surprising, because again, Shinji Mikami, the Resident Evil director, for, for pretty much all the games, did this game. So, this is shot for shot for that. Like, there's the head, face all bit off, and then here we go. Resident Evil 1, classic. There it is. Pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, long boy. All right, so this is actually crazy dumb, and I want to not use the gun because his attacks really hurt. All right, it's over. At least I only hit him once. At least I, at least I, he only hit me once. Yeah, he's dead. 
I don't have any matches, so I can't burn his body. Alright, some health goop. Let's get that in my veins. There we are. Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I don't know the speed run for this game. I would really love to know it. I think it's like two hours. I should probably learn it off screen and come back and really play this proper. But I just like this game in general. I like all the games. I like all the games that I play on my channel, with the exception of Justice League Heroes. I did have fun playing that game, though, but it is bad, and I wish it was good. Oh, I could play X-Men Legends. He'll say, danger, danger, stop, stop. Yeah, so you have to disarm this trap or you blow up. Won't lie, first time I played this, I walked right into the trap and blew up. I'll, it'll probably happen again. Leslie, right? I'm a police officer. Maybe I should help you. Should help you? Shit. How am I gonna get you to a hospital? Hospital. Hospital. Alright, he likes his hot pockets. Alright, so I don't want to walk into that and die. So, can I just walk forward slightly? I gotta disarm this, but I don't want to die. There we go. Dangerous, man. You blow right up. The reason I didn't want to shoot my gun so much is because I have to fight two creatures coming up soon. And, uh, yeah, without bullets, it's kind of a nuisance. There's green goop in this van here, uh, if I climb it. This teaches you to burn bodies. Say. All right, so you burn bodies, they leave items behind occasionally, like bullets or health or... Just randomly. I think that's just a tutorial burning, so he won't do that, but got my goop. Alright, so this is the stealth kill sequence it teaches you. Leslie's gonna run in there and uh, I'm gonna run behind this crazy and stab him. This also teaches you that you can level up whenever you want if you find a mirror. You can step through that mirror and go back to that world. He's freaking out about it. Alright, so this is me. Sebastian Colley. I finally got my gold badge. I like the sound of that. Seems like a long time coming, but, th but they say that I'm one of the fastest ever to rise. Can't wait to get started. I know I can do more good as a detective than I ever could as a beat cop. Plus, I don't have to wear that damn uniform anymore. The paint bump doesn't hurt either. KCPD needs all the help they can get. A seemingly disproportionate amount of crime these days. Crimson City is my home, and it's my job to protect it. What a hopeful man he was. So I can step through here and save the game. That's all it's teaching you. But I'm not going to do that right now. I forget how quickly your stamina runs out in this game. It's insane. Here we go. All right, so I just creep up on guy here, and I stab him up. I forgot how to crouch. The game should tell me. There we go. All right, so then you just stab him in his back when he's not looking. Got him. That's it. Job done. Burn them for some quick ammo. Let me get some bullets. 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 Come on, man. What a dick. So you got to run on this scene here. You can't fight them. There is no... Oh, so this is the part with the two creatures. So the, the true way to do this is to throw a bottle, distract them, and sneak kill them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that successfully. They might get me. There's a, see that statue there? Resident Evil uses this a lot where the statue is about in the game. If you break them all, you get a secret item. There's a key. These statues all contain a key. The keys all open lockers inside of the dream state world of his mind. So. Alright, so here's the two creatures. There's a bottle here for me to distract them with. Here we go. Cutscene. The, the lighthouse is going to shine and they're going to transform. Hey, 
Are you guys from around here? I don't know he does. I don't know where I am. So he's gonna be like, see, he's gonna die. Got him. So now it just muties, like, but it doesn't change you. There it is, barbed wire. Creatures. Glowing white eyes. Alright, so you're supposed to stealth kill these guys. Uh, I hate that they both moved. So there is a booby trap somewhere that I can accidentally step on and get smoked. So you can hide. I want to show it off. Remember earlier we hid from uh, the big guy? We're going to do it again now. And once they turn their back, I'll come out, get the free stealth kill, maybe shoot the other one? I only got three bullets, though. I don't know. Look, I can hang out in this. Like, I'm just in his locker doing a dance. I want the free stealth kill. That's why I'm doing this. Because I only got three shots, and their melees hurt really bad. So if you go out the back, there is a... Maybe show some bullets for me. There is a, a booby trap to disarm. You can, like, be clever and lead them to the booby trap, and then they will explode. But I don't know the routing of this game, so I can't do that. I think I've done it in, like, one playthrough or another. I can't remember. All right, I think he's a stealth kill. You a stealth kill, bro? Yeah. Yeah, you're done. All right, that's the what's one. I know the there's the other one. See, he had shots for me. So I can get a stealth kill on him if he turns his back. All right, I think we're I think we're good. It's over for him. We got him. Done and done. Now the game tries to trick you into going around the back of the house, and that's where the booby trap is. So if you go if you go around the back of the house here, there will be a booby trap waiting to blow you to pieces. Like if you try to run from them. I think the booby trap is for Akumu mode, like it's used for that difficulty that I was talking about that you can't, you know, do anything about. But there is a booby trap back here. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. You can, like, trick them into walking into this. But since they're both dead, I can just take it and get my parts. You need those parts to level up your weapons. That's why it's important to get them. Alright, we're out of here. So if you walk right here, uh, like Resident Evil 4, there's a little secret. See? I feel like I'm being pulled just looking at it. See? That's a little secret. Reload. Put that away. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm past my time limit here. I just got to get to a save point. Oh, my gosh. 
more creatures. I forgot this is a village. So this is Resident Evil 4's opening. If if anyone doesn't know, this is the village. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that cool? This game is just Resident Evil 4. Oh, so this is a checkpoint. So did it save on its own? I feel like it did. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping in. We'll pick this up another time. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you next time. I won't see you next week. Next time. All right. Thank you. See you.